My name is Deku. Oh. I must remember this? where I started. Is this an All Might flashback? Hell yeah. I'm so here for this. People need a symbol. A symbol of peace. A symbol of peace? Yeah. The reason crime is on the rise everywhere is because citizens have no one to believe in. Even though you're quirkless. This is his teacher. Yes. He was quirkless too. You're kind of Finally crazy. seeing her face. <laughs> he is kind of crazy. He is so crazy. And that's why he's awesome. He's the best. I really hope we see more of the teacher. It's like getting a two for one deal. Because we got Deku All Might. I guess three for one. Because we got Gran Torino and Deku as well. Make that a four for one. <laughs> we got Gran Torino and All Might. About what he just said. I feel like he's, he's right. To such a large extent, and then just falls like a little bit short. Although, who am I to criticize All Might? It does resonate with me very strongly because I feel like the concept of faith, I think, has become sort of a, a loaded term or a term that people reject because there's this idea that like we can just sort, sort of solve all our problems logically or materially or whatever. But I think that at some point, at some layer in everyone's beliefs, there has to be something faith based. And I think there are many, many different kinds of things to have faith in that are really grounded and don't require religion or spirituality or anything like that. But I think that without the right kinds of faith or without having anything to believe in at all, we sort of open ourselves up to like whatever is the closest thing or whatever we're handed, which a lot of times is not the best faith system. And I think there are just a lot of pitfalls to not having like a dedicated focus on that because without it, without having a system that's sort of built organically, let's say, or individually, personally, there are a lot of people or not even people, just ideas floating around that will be gripping just because they're the closest thing and they feel good. You know, it, it feels good to have something to believe in, but not all beliefs are created equal. Yet everyone needs something to believe in. So to that extent, I think the All Might idea is genius, you know, like give people something to believe even which is him. Where I think it falls flat is a little bit harder to pin down, but I think it's something like one of the biggest purposes of having faith or beliefs of any kind is to help navigate the world. And sort of by definition, there's a lot that's unknown, but I think it has to be adapted. It can't reject new information. Because I think the goal is maybe to get as close to reality as possible so that we might function well. And with All Might, I feel like his idea is so good, but then gradually he starts leaning on lies, you know, leaning on lies that like he's just the symbol of peace and he'll be there. And if not him, then Deku. And that'll that'll save everyone and solve everyone's problems, which is clearly not the case, which is the villain's whole thing, right? Also, as I've said before, I think there's a little bit too much of a reliance thing going on where isn't the individual's role important too? You know, like where's the focus on each person's own responsibility and own heroic tendencies rather than like him being a substitute. I say this as a criticism, but like that's just me sort of nitpicking. Overall, I really love the fact that he's even thinking that way and is able to do that. Like what a, what a man, <laughs> for lack of a better way to say that. One for all. We started with all for one, then symbol of peace. Now one for all. Connected episodes. I got a lot of feelings right now and a lot of concern. One of the biggest ones is for best genus. Where is he and what happened to him? Our rescue totally worked. A rescue? You know back there, <laughs> you idiots it, it totally just is. happened to be my best escape route. All I hear is love You're and happiness. Yeah, I exactly. Kirishima's so got it. I could destroy that guy. Also true. He made the right decision. Yeah, I Didn't think so. We? I think so. This is what you would have wanted, right, All Might? For sure. And they're getting so far ahead of themselves. Like they're, I mean, they're already heroes. Let's be real. But they don't need to be the heroes now. It's really hard to make this call about like when is right the right time to intervene, but they do the world a disservice sort of if like the best class of potential heroes jeopardizes the future now. Plus All Might is here, right? All Might can handle it. He can handle anything. He's the symbol of peace. You went down a long, hard road to obtain this power. Of course, it's going to take a lot of work to master. She just seems awesome. My master was a true hero. Yeah. Keep her name out of your filthy mouth. How embarrassing for me, the creator of One for All, to see her inherit the power. That's right. He's the originator of the whole thing. Oh no, this is not really great symbolically. Don't let him get under your skin. Yes, sir. His quirks and fighting style are completely different than they were. I can't believe that's his face. That's just what he looks like. It's do or die. You must go past your limit. I will. <laughs> wow. The scene For Grand Junior to say that All Might is incredible. Half of Kamino Ward was demolished in a single horrifying instant. But he will though. He will go past his limits. He always does. And everyone is watching. Oh crap, that looks terrible. Whoa, I've never seen this, him like yeah. this. How do people react to this? Daddy may not have to work tomorrow, hon. Oh god, that's so callous. All Might's the best. He'll win. There you go, there you go. Voice of reason in the crowd. That's why I want you to suffer until your last breath and die broken and disgraced for all the world to see. Yeah, that's an interesting thing about All for One as well. Like, it's not about even killing All Might. It's about humiliating him. It's obvious that both sides are, are working on symbols, right? And trying to sway opinion. But I think a little extra thing there is that the public just seems so callous. That seems very deliberate to me, those inserts. Dude is like 
watching the greatest hero of all time be defeated and is like just busy getting juice. And daddy's hoping to get a day off from work tomorrow. You know what I mean? It's like, where are these people's minds? It seems like they've maybe been trained just to think this way. It's almost like they're watching a WWE event. There are no real stakes for them. It's just their side or whatever. Maybe because they haven't had to think about it. Maybe because they haven't directly experienced the fallout from what the heroes and villains do. It seems almost like people live in such a luxurious state of existence, probably, you know, largely thanks to the heroes, that they don't have to think about the stakes for them, which is understandable. You know, it's really, really hard to like fully understand something without, you know, having direct exposure to that thing, but it's kind of disheartening and maybe actually is a flaw in like what hero society is. Although I think if you ask the heroes, they probably say it's worth it. Like it's probably preferable for people to like have the space the luxury to not actually care about the results that much then have them like be constantly victims but i think the problem is if that goes on for a really long time or people become really really unattached from the actual real life threats that come from big movements in society or whatever is that they're sort of weak you know and ripe for the picking from people who would do harm which goes back to what i was saying earlier about having the right beliefs you know it just feels like they're so apathetic it doesn't seem like they have personally crafted beliefs about the world should be it just seems like an over-reliance on, on mental models and sides maybe big one's coming dodge and counter now, i love this all my grand Trino tag team though oh no there's a victim and you know he'll do whatever he can to save one person first to go self-respect and ridiculous public image show the world how it's on the way out look at him oh my this is crazy peace is this on tv no don't look everyone avert your eyes it looks like a skeleton turn off the tv it's all coming out this is insane i didn't think it would happen this early i'm supposed to be the guy who's always smiling right on the symbol of peace. Here's the yeah, here's the downside to like the symbols. That happened so quickly. Even as you expose my weakened state. Yeah, it's not his muscles that make him a hero. In my heart, I remain the symbol of peace. And there's nothing you can do to take that from me. Damn, I love that so much. Umura Shigaraki, my apprentice. He's Nana Shimura's grandson. Oh what? I kept I mean, does that really change anything though? I don't know. Your golden heart. And so I found Tomura. That's why he was chosen. I think this would be more of a surprise for me if, like, I didn't already have suspicions that Shigaraki would slowly come to the light, so to speak. You know what I mean? I mean, if they're really heroic, it wouldn't be about killing him. It's just about stopping him. It doesn't seem to be like All Might bore Shigaraki ill will. For All Might, it might be something more like it went from someone I have to fight to somebody who means something to me. So now I'm, I'm like extra curious if Shigaraki is going to start to come around to their side. And if it happens, I'll bet Deku will be the one to do it. With his meddling constantly at, a, at an 11. Sad for Shigaraki, though, because... You know, I've been wondering, like, how much All For One actually cares about Shigaraki. This is sort of like a stroke in the doesn't really care column. Seems like he's he's more like a tool. That's a lie. Oh, come now. You know it's the truth. But it is affecting All Might. <laughs> well, well, <laughs> I can't not strange, love this music. Right. Where is your smile now? He has no eyes. She's my master's grandchild. My God, what would she say if she knew how we turned out? Don't, don't lose your cool. Don't do it. He's, he's not that far gone yet. Keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a psychological battle right now. This is bad. Yes, it is. It's so bad they forgot about their soda for a second. Is he gonna lose? And everyone's watching. Are they hearing it too? Even if he looks totally different, he's Deck was so deeply invested in this too. And Bakugo. At least they care. It would be so amazing to see him pull this out of the bag. Going back a little bit, I love what All Might said about how what he has can't be taken away. You know, it's, it's such a beautiful concept. It's something I've thought about a lot. The more I think about it, the more I think that's the way. Like having something of our own, you know, something that we've built, not something arbitrary either, things that we practice, you know, the ways in which we have ideals and then act in accordance with those ideals, even when it's difficult. You know, the more that happens, the less I think the individual components and, and random occurrences of life have meaning, which is not to say they have no meaning or that they can't be devastating, but there's something about internalizing that, that feeling of like oneself as like i don't know a flame or something like that or a self-generating source of stability or power or whatever the quality is that makes weathering the storms a lot more manageable to not miss an opportunity to quote from avatar it's iris thing of in the darkest times hope is something you give yourself you know i think the mistake that i made a long time about that is that it's not necessarily something that you're just born with i mean i think that's true to some extent but i think there's another component to that that I feel I often miss when I was young, which is that it actually has to be met. It's an active process. It's not just a passive built-in process, even if that's through thought, you know, but it has to be cultivated in a very determined and focused way. And I think that's why a lot of the time the messages we get about like, just believe in yourself or whatever, fall hollow because how are you supposed to believe in yourself if you haven't proved yourself to yourself, if that makes sense. So it just feels so good to see All Might on the brink 
this is pre the you know the Shigaraki reveal, but still knowing that he still has everything he needs, no matter how dire of a situation he's in. It's just awesome and inspiring. That's the thing I want. You know, I want to be able to like face whatever, even if it's difficult, even if it's turbulent, even if it hurts like hell, but like have sort of like that root. It just feels so good to say things like whatever happens, I'm not giving up, you know, or like whatever tribulations come, I'm going to do what I feel is right. You know, that kind of thing. It just has power even to think. Toshinori, and cue flashback you again. You can't go on anymore. Look inside. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, exactly, remember. exactly. Remember why it is you clench your fist. Right. Speaking of flames and fire. I want to make a world where everyone smiles and lives together happily. <laughs> cue epic guitar riff. How many times is he going to have to counter such a large scale attack? How many plus ultras we got? That's the last of your strength, isn't it, All Might? You never know, man. It goes deep. It goes so deep. You have what? Here comes Two the, the rock music. Punches left? Damn. Are you serious? What the hell's going on with that weak little body? <laughs> Endeavor's pissed. They're rivals, but Endeavor also, in some way, needs All Might to be strong. He feared for his friend's life. Well, this is interesting because now we got not All Might just single-handedly doing it. Particularly strong, but I'm still impressed what does that mean for this symbolic so element? Quickly. Damn it, All Might! That's what he looks like, huh? But the harder I worked, the more obvious it became just how much of a widening gap separated the two of us. Stand up and show them why you're back! Yeah, he needs it. That's so interesting. We're here to assist. <laughs> nice. That's Save best genus, please. Oh yeah, and, and her too. We can't do much. But if we can just Do what you can for now. My computer froze. Can't handle the epicness. Well, since it froze. <laughs> I love that little touch with Endeavor and All Might because it's clear he has so much anger about it, but he immediately recognizes how much All Might means to him as well. Like, who would he be if he wasn't striving to reach All Might? That's one of the beautiful things about rivalries. I understand how deeply frustrating it is to just realize that people are light years ahead of you and that there's probably no catching up. But, you know, if you really think about it, if you step back, it's, it's a great thing. It's great to have people above you. What Endeavor has accomplished is amazing. What's the real necessity of being number one? There really isn't, if you think about it. The goal is the good that you do. And Endeavor's done a lot of good, although it's, you know, the negativity is trickled into his family life, obviously. But if we can just help a little... Do what you can for now. We have fulfilled our duty. Do what you can for now. Thank you. Now hit him with your punch. With your one arm. Frozen citizens everywhere are praying for your victory. No matter what you look like. I love this support. You're still everyone's <laughs> number one hero! Oh, that's so touching. From the other heroes, no less. That the world needs some kind of pillar of support. And he says that's what he's going to become one day. He did it. And I think there's a nice metaphor there as well. You know, like All Might is the symbol of, of peace. He is actually a pillar of support. And so, therefore, other people come to his aid. You know what I mean? Other people rise to the challenge. In this case, it's it's the other heroes. That, I think, is one of the missing components of the whole, like, one solitary symbol thing. But here it is working, just not exactly in that way. You know what I mean? Even after everything he's done so far, the entire world continues to cheer you on. I'm glad. This is not the initial response. That includes your students, whose admiration knows no bounds. Yeah, especially your students. How pointless. Nah, he's gonna rise to the occasion. With his one arm. Let's stop dwelling on heroism. <laughs> Do you even know what show this is? Kinetic booster times four. Oh damn, here we go. Strength he's got a court for that. Times three. Multiplier. In order to put you down for good, I'll punch you with the ultimate combination of quirks. It's just like a serious finale. Right now. That's what it looks like, all those things? Okay. Aesthetics is not one of his quirks. One for all no longer dwells within you. What you're attacking me with is just a lingering ghost. The embers that remain from what you've already passed on. Is that how that works? I didn't know that. But in the darkest times, so fire is something you give yourself. <laughs> He's oh, the what? Child you passed one for all on to. Okay. Every secret's out. Oh, damn. Impact recoil! Oh, my God. Chunks of All Might's arm just hit his face. The weak embers inside you are resisting, trying to rekindle some of your former strength. I like the fire metaphor. It works really well because it can grow. Oh, He's not out yet. Not because I'm a symbol, but because I will do as my master did for me. Until I That's so touching. Training young Majorius. Damn. Priorities though. I refuse to die! 
able to stop him head on. Use your wits. <laughs> That's interesting to say to All Might, who usually solves things through multiple punches. That one for all will give the world hope. And now it is your turn. Do your best, yeah. Toshino. She's kind of a symbol to All Might. Goodbye. Oh, for one. Damn, that was satisfying. Get out of here, media. <laughs> Goodbye. No, no, no. One for all. No, stop it. Well, he's fine. Is it the end of his power? But symbolically, he just won again, despite being weakened. <laughs> They're not even filming anymore. I'm just crying. He did it again. Another YouTube video for Deku to watch a million times. He's still working. <laughs> He's a true professional. Is it really? That's insane. It's like retiring with a perfect career. No pressure, Deku, or anything. That's the most moved, moving expression I've ever seen Bakugo have. Somehow. Meanwhile, All Might and the other heroes remain on high alert. Speech. Speech. <laughs> no. Is he pointing at Deku through the camera? No. It's your turn. He is. Got a lot to live up to. Those are some huge shoes to fill. As far as most people were concerned, it was meant for other criminals. A warning no, no. that the symbol of peace endured. But to me, it meant the opposite. <sighs> That's so huge. He'd used up everything. And now it was left to me. So many feelings at once, I imagine, for Deku, like complete honor, rising to the challenge, All Might style. Also, like, incredible fear and also, like, pain. You know, there's, like, a pain to, to having ideals, if that makes sense. There's a there's pain in having heroes or, or something to look up to. I don't know how to explain that, but to want to be something so badly it hurts, you know what I mean? That, for me, feels very real. About All Might's gesture, though, I feel like it has or could have multiple meanings. I don't know what the actual intention is. But he's pointing at the camera, right, which a lot of people are seeing. It could also be interpreted as him pointing to everyone who's watching, which, in a meta way, I guess, includes the audience. And it's funny, because that's two shows in a row, Attack on Titan and now this, where a character points to the audience while making a big statement. In Attack on Titan, it was... Uh, what's her name? I already forgot. Pierre? Duck Titan. <laughs> Telling the audience that they're the enemy. Here we have the opposite, which is something like, the audience is the, the next in line to be the heroes. Not that those are mutually exclusive. Yeah, it's a lot. That takes the cake for the most emotional face I've seen Bakugo have. Replacing the other one this episode. <laughs> Um, yeah, that was, that was an episode. That was definitely an episode of the show. <laughs> Easily one of the best, I'd say, in the series so far. There's just so much there. It felt like a movie. It's one of those episodes that exceeds its actual runtime in terms of how it feels. I feel like I'm going to be thinking about this one for a while. There's so much to it. I mean, there's obviously the, the just amazing story developments of All Might losing his power, seemingly. The public sort of uncovering his weakness, but simultaneously having their hope in him reinvigorated, all for one's existence and threat. He's in jail right now, but you know, we've all seen Batman, that doesn't work, they get out. So his presence is here. And it does seem like, even though this ended on a really victorious note, it's a precarious balance, this whole public opinion thing and public symbolism thing. Then, you know, you just have All Might himself and the conclusions he's come to and the whole thing about him knowing exactly who he is and what he wants and that being the defining thing that keeps him going rather than the circumstance. And I love how in the most difficult moments of this fight, he's not thinking about his symbolic significance as much. I mean, he's, he is thinking about it, but what he brought up was his master and Deku, which to me, I, I don't know, it's such a nice touch. It's a small thing, but it's not. You know, it's a huge thing that he's thinking about the, the people. He's thinking about his own symbols. He's connecting himself to the past and the future, not unlike, you know, a great commander that I, I often speak about. And, you know, speaking of things to believe in, right? He really has found it for himself. He made it. And not only that, he lived it. He continues to live it. I don't know what's going to happen. I feel like All Might can't have his powers gone. I mean, maybe, that would be insane, but even if they are gone, he's still a force. I mean, just because of who he is. And then the passing of the torch is such a beautiful thing and, and raises a lot of questions for me. I don't really know where they'll, they'll go with it, but I feel like it's bigger than just Deku. Although, I mean, just Deku alone is huge. Like just the fact that he's passing the torch to Deku is big enough to be amazing. I really can't fully comprehend even the feelings Deku must have in that situation. Thinking about how much he cares about All Might, how much All Might means to him, how much All Might always meant to him, but you know, especially now with their, their relationship and their connection and the legacy that Deku's received, it's gotta be overwhelming and not all entirely pleasant. 
You know what I mean? It's it's painful. It's beautiful and painful at the same time. So it's awesome that the show is able to capture that, you know, that emotion. And crucially, I think it's great that he didn't do it alone. I think that's a big and important part of it as well. And I think that's sort of how it's probably going to go for the kids. Like Deku is the next one for all user, but he's definitely not the final solution. The solution is all the characters we've been building. It's the other heroes, just as the other heroes were there for All Might in this episode. So it's just so great. And it's so intriguing to see where it goes from here. You know, you think you've got sort of a trajectory figured out. I don't know. That seems to have wrapped up this arc kind of but in this show an arc ends and a new one is built right on top of it so it'll be great to see the world and especially the students response to this event we've had sort of a dark time in these episodes in this season pretty much but although it's painful it feels like a victory and so hopefully something beautiful can be built out of this by the characters so yeah that's it for for one hell of an episode see you guys next time when bakugo has finally learned to love again <laughs>